Oh yes, we are so excited. Just a few days left for you to head down to the 2018 North American International Auto Show. And we would love for you to join us today for Family Day at the Auto Show. The fun runs from 11 o'clock this morning until 7 o'clock tonight. Channel 7 will be in the atrium of Kobo Center to greet you before you check out all those cool rides. You'll also have a chance to meet two racing legends who will be signing autographs and taking pictures with fans starting at noon for only one hour. And I am honored to have those legends with me right now. Four-time Indy 500 winner Rick Mears, better known as Rocket Rick, and also two-time Detroit Grand Prix winner from Team Penske, Will Power. Thank you both for being with us. You know, all racing fans at home are just like, <laughs> ah, this is really quite a treat. And you're going to be meeting fans today for a whole hour. That's right, yeah, at the atrium at noon. So um, we'll be up there. We're actually, we're speaking, Rick, myself, Jay Fry, who's nice. the head of competition in, in IndyCar, and uh, Bud Banker um, from Penske Corp. So oh, star-studded, yeah. to be sure. Rick, I, I know you probably have had so many appearances over the years, uh, especially with all of the accolades that you've earned. What's, like, the most commonly asked question uh, fans pose to you? Oh, I... How much money you make? <laughs> <laughs> they just go there, don't they? Right, they right just go there. <laughs> but it is it's fun. great. It's been great over there. There's no questions you get it, and it's. You know, I've always enjoyed just the Q and A type thing because then that sparks good stories to tell and everything else. You know, as you go along, but it, it's a lot of fun. And after uh, you hang out with the fans for an hour, you are going to tour the the auto show floor and check out yeah. the rides. Is there a particular car you're most looking forward to seeing, Rick? Uh, I think we will take a look at the new Corvettes. Mm -hmm. and see what they look like. I haven't seen them up close yet. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely fabulous. How about you? Uh, yes, I'll be right behind Rick checking <laughs> that out in the Chevy display. Yeah, and uh, there is a really cool 50th anniversary Hot Wheels Camaro edition. That's in oh, like wow. a crush <laughs> orange color if you haven't seen that. If you haven't been down to the auto show, that's a lot of fun too. So, Great. But, you know, a lot of people are excited because uh, you're in the off season right now. Um, your first race is in March, but the Detroit Bell Isle Grand Prix will be here before we know it. How are you getting ready for that? Uh, I think uh, with, we've got a new car this year and we're doing a lot of development, but obviously that race in particular is very big for us because it's, uh, you know, we run, run Chevrolet engines. Uh, we drive for Roger Penske, so it's his race. His backyard, Chevy's backyard. Um, Home base, yeah. So we have a lot of pressure to win. <laughs> <laughs> just a skirt, just a yeah. little bit, right? Uh, we know it. It's good pressure, though. Yeah, it's absolutely, good pressure, yeah. absolutely. And Rick, tell me a little bit. You are now uh, an advisor to Team Penske. What kind of advice do you share before a, a race like the Belle Isle Grand Prix? Uh, really, I mean, every weekend's a little different. Mm. You know, there may be a little different circumstances you're struggling with off and on in the track or conditions or whatever. And it's just, it's kind of whatever's needed at the time you know I spotted a lot for Elio in past years yeah. during the races um, but it's kind of just whatever's needed and uh, over the years we get a new driver in you know they like, like Will when Will started he had a lot more road course experience in ovals so I'd work a little closer on the oval stuff so just kind of whatever we need at the time. Just sprinkling those words of wisdom <laughs> where you see fit. And you used to ride the streets of Detroit when the Grand Prix yeah, was in yes. the downtown, downtown. Uh, grid there. What do you think about it moving to Belle Isle? Oh, Belle Isle is great. I think it's just a, it's an outstanding setting, especially on TV, just as far as the visual of it. You know, the, the river, the water, and then the city in the backdrop. It's just a gorgeous setting for TV. But, you know, the, just all the improvements that have been made over the years, and, and we've seen it grow. and and uh, it's, it's just an outstanding venue for us. It really is. Again, they're going to be at uh, Kobo Center today from noon until 1 o'clock signing autographs. If you can't get there, there is going to be Comerica Bank free pre-day taking place on Friday, June the 1st, where all the fans can get in for free and uh, get to chat with you as well. What do you like about that event, Will? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's an awesome event, yeah. Um... Folks get to come in, they get to watch you actually perform. So it's a really nice uh, way for them to get a little closer than they might not have otherwise been, yes. I would imagine. Yes, it's a very uh, cool initiative. Well, good deal. Well, thank you so much, Will thank Power you. and Rick thank Mears. Rocket Rick, Thanks such a pleasure us. to meet both of you. Again, Kobo Center at 1 o'clock today, if you, uh, excuse me, noon until 1 o'clock today, if you'd like to check them out in person. We appreciate it. Hope